Ark Knights just had an absolutely monolithic update pushed out today, or yesterday, rather. It, it's today for me, as I'm recording this on the 28th, a Thursday, but the video is going live Friday morning. Quick shout out to my patrons over on Patreon, by the way. Since this channel is not monetized, every patron counts. This event, titled Near Light, began today, April 28th, and will last all the way through May 26th. To participate in it, you need only have completed the main scenario level 1-10. There were several event stages introduced with this event, and I know I'm going to butcher the hell out of this name because I've never heard it pronounced, but the stages are Koalarielki, which opened when the event went live and lasts until May 12th, Area Zero, which begins May 5th and ends May 19th, and finally City Neon that opens May 12th and ends May 19th. During this event, players will be able to complete long-term goals, which are for the most part just missions to earn rewards such as mats and wild main. You can trade these in at the trade exhibition, which will be open through May 26th, even after the event stages close. There's a brand new login event from now until May 12th, offering a plethora of different goodies. There's a new banner, Path of the Radiant, with several operators, specifically Nero the Radiant Knight, being up for grabs, who I was actually kind of happy to have obtained. This is, I believe, the only chance that we're going to have to obtain Nero for the immediate future, as the official website states that she will not appear in other standard headhunting. All of the operators in question available during this banner are Nero, Flametail, Curl Serum, Wild Mane, Honey Berry, Pudding, and Justice Knight. Additionally, players will be able to obtain free headhunting roles every 24 hours from now until May 12th. Honeyberry and Pudding are going to be redeemable in the purchase certificate store, and according to the website, will not be available again until a future update. There are new Epoch outfits available for those of you with some spare cash, along with some new furniture sets. There are new packs available totaling over $100, which I may have purchased immediately upon realizing they were there. And finally, there's the Popping Valley Mining Area, which allows players to try their luck at mining ore once per day. Each day, you'll obtain a random type of ore, which will be processed into orandoms. The general consensus thus far has been, in one word, wow. Not only have I been impressed with what I've seen thus far, but social media is abuzz with praise by not only the story, by not only the background music, but the stages as well, and what is being offered to players. This is an absolutely incredible event. It is arguably one of the best events in the history of the game, and more than that, an incredible event by any gotcha standards. If you're looking for something to replace Ark Knights though, then I might just have you covered with this list of confirmed gotcha games coming this year in 2022.